Hi everyone, this is Ethan from Dre Design Studios, and today we're going to do a Photoshop tutorial on how to export our frame by frame animation we've made in Photoshop to a video format. Alright, so as you can see here, we have our frame by frame animation, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play so we can preview that. So our animation looks good, we're ready to export it into a video format, and I'm just going to select frame 1. I'm going to go up to file in the top left and I'm going to go down to export and then I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom to render video. We're going to click on that and as you can see we have a dialog box pop up and now we have our options as to how we're going to format our animation into a video. First I'm going to name the animation and I'm just going to name this Fiesta Wear Dancer and then we have the option to select where our animation is going to be exported to. So right now I have it exporting to our desktop. We also have the option to create a new subfolder within the folder. However, I'm just going to leave that unchecked so I can export it straight to the desktop. And then if we go to our next option, we have Adobe Media Encoder and we have a drop down menu. Now this is good for what we're about to do. If you open this drop down menu, you can see that you can export it as a Photoshop image sequence as well. And for right now, we're gonna leave that alone and I'm just gonna use the Adobe Media Encoder. Next, we're gonna go down to our format. Currently, we have our format set to H.264, which is a high quality, pretty small compressed file. So I'm gonna stick with that. The other options we have are DPX, which actually stands for Digital Moving Picture Exchange, and then we have a quick time option as well. H.264 is going to be a rather small file, but it's going to be high quality, so I'm just going to stick with H.264. Next we go over to our preset drop down menu, and currently I have mine set to high quality, which is what I want. If we wanted a smaller file, then we could use medium quality or low quality if we're willing to sacrifice the quality of our animation. Uh, they also have different presets as far as exporting for phones or exporting for Vimeo or YouTube but currently I'm just gonna stick with high quality export preset. The next drop down menu is our size. Now I've already set my document size to 1920 by 1080, which is HD format. And so I'm gonna stick with that. As you can see, we can choose different sizes as well. And we can even go down to custom size. But for right now, I'm just gonna keep that document size the same since we already have 1920 by 1080 here. Now our next drop down menu is the frame rate. This is very important because this is gonna be the speed or how many frames per second your animation is actually exported into video. Currently it says document frame rate is 30 frames per second. However, I only have about 22 frames, so if we're going 30 frames per second, it's gonna be way too fast. So if we drop this down, you can see that there are different options that you can choose if your animation appears to be moving too quickly in your exported file, or if it's moving too slowly in your exported file. You can even do a custom frame rate, but for right now, I'm actually gonna stick to 10, and then we'll see how that turns out. Next, we have our field order dropdown, which we have our preset as progressive, which essentially draws our lines or renders our lines one at a time from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. Um, we're going to stick with that because it'll work out okay. And we want color manage checked since we've already done all of our coloring in Photoshop. And then we have our aspect, document 1.0, which is the document aspect. We can always change to these other aspect ratios if need be. But for right now, since we already have these presets set to 1920 by 1080 high quality, we're going to stick with that document 1.0. The range, we're going to keep all those frames rendering out to our video. And our render options, we don't really need to worry about this because we don't have any 3D elements within our animation. So the next thing we're going to do once we check all of our settings and we are satisfied with them, we're just going to hit render. Now once Photoshop is done doing its thing, we can go ahead and hide the application or navigate to our desktop where we exported our animation. And I'm just going to select that animation. I'm going to hit spacebar on the keyboard to do a preview. And we're looking good. So it exported all of our frames at 10 frames per second, leaving us at a two second animation. All right, so today we went through how to export a frame by frame animation in Photoshop to a video. The first step going up to file, export, and then render video. Next step is setting where the location of our final file output will go, choosing Adobe Media Encoder, whatever format we wanted to use and preset for quality, picking the size of our document as well as how many frames per second our document will be exported to. Field order being progressive, our aspect ratio, sticking with the same aspect ratio of the document, choosing all frames, and we're leaving that 3D quality alone in the render options.
I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to export a frame by frame animation in Photoshop to video format. This is Ethan from Dre Design Studios. Have a great day.